Well, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers came into Ford Field today, and uh, I guess you could say they pillaged and plundered. I mean, we have now lost 10 of our last 11 games, but let's look on the bright side. The loss today didn't hurt our draft position. We came into today with number five pick, and before it's all said and done, we could climb as high as number three. So even though we lost the game, it kind of feels like we won, doesn't it? Let's try and keep things positive. Do you feel any pressure on returning next season? Yeah, well, from a pressure standpoint, I got to be honest. I feel it every single day right here in my chest. Sure, the stakes are high, but that's the name of the game. I've got the heart, and I believe it's strong. And when you're willing to put in the necessary time and effort to make things right, things usually work out. Also, my doctor just prescribed me some lisinopril, so I'm hopeful that'll help. I'm sorry. I thought you were asking about my health. As far as being the head coach of the Detroit Lions next season, as long as this blood pressure medication does its job better than I've done mine, I'll be back. I mean, come on. The Fords gave Matt Millen eight seasons, and he never once had a winning record. I'm not going anywhere. Do you think your record indicates who you are? As a team. Well, from a Dunder Mifflin management standpoint, I think it was Michael Scott who said, I do want all of the credit and none of the blame. I mean, I know we're not playing for a Lombardi trophy, and I know I'm not a candidate for coach of the year. Heck, I probably don't even deserve a participation ribbon for my efforts this season. Now, if the tables were turned and we were 11 and 3, I would say absolutely. Our record does indicate who we are as a football team, but I mean, that's like a chiseled jawline or a life without gout. That's a fantasy. The reality of it is we have lost so many more games than we have won. And if I'm being dishonest, we are better than that. Records don't tell you where you rank amongst your competition. They're not a measuring stick for success. They're trivial numbers and they don't mean anything. We're just a bunch of guys out there having fun together. And if you don't believe that, ask anyone who's ever played football for me. Okay? I'm fun. Coach, address the negative comments regarding your personality. Well, from a Saturday Night Live sketch with Stuart Smalley's standpoint, I'm good enough, all right? I am smart enough, okay? And people like me. I am so sick and tired of everyone saying that my personality is the reason this team has gone downhill. How is that surprising to anyone? I mean, look at me. I am not built to go uphill. I don't climb things. My specialty has always been the descent. And yet here you are saying my personality is toxic. It's not. I am charming. My mom always told me that. Everyone knows that you carry a nice personality in your midsection. So how can you say that that's my problem? The whole thing's illogical. It doesn't make sense. Hey everyone, it is me, Zach, and I have taken off the coach's hat and let the hair down to say thank you so much for watching these. I am glad they have helped ease the pain of this Lions season. Uh, I wanted to let you know that I'm going to be at Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle December 26, 27, and 28. Please come out to those shows. The only way we can heal from this disaster of an NFL season is to laugh together. So come out, see me headline, Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle, December 26, 27, and 28. Happy holidays to all of you, and thanks again for watching.